this real quick. Welcome guys to the 90 days of personal. This call right here is amazing. Welcome to KD's class. We lit. So today I'm going to talk about a little bit about trading. Um, some of the lessons that I have learned in the market, some of the things that I look for, how to set up my trading view and how to really put in a trade, right? I feel like a lot of us, right? We're, we're beginners here. So if you're a beginner, if you're new to trading, this is a whole new language for you. Drop a new in the chat real quick. So I know, right? Because trading is new to me. I'm not the best trader. I'm not an educator, but I know how to look for things. So I'm going to put you guys on game on what to actually look for when you guys are actually trading with the team, when you guys are actually trading with different educators. Okay. And one thing that I learned when I'm trading with educators, I, it's okay to just listen and copy and paste. Yeah, it's awesome. But how good does it feel, right? I'm a type of learner that I have to do things on myself first so I could be able to understand it, right? Because I could sit here and be like, yeah, 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 I'm copying and pasting. But what am I learning from just copying and pasting? How good does it feel that I get to watch and see and develop my eye for trading while I'm looking at what the educator is actually doing? So I want to share some of the things that I've done and some of the lessons I have learned because I learned a lot, a lot of lessons, to <laughs> be honest with you. I learned a lot of lessons in this market. This 11 months I've been here, my first 30 days, no, nah, not even my first 30 days, my first 10 days in the business, I, I was the biggest trader you ever know. You know, when you buy a kid a video game and he just stays in the room all day, that was me with trading. No cap. I blew an account the same, like the first three days I got it, it was like, yo, <laughs> what do I do? Okay, let's go to the bank. Let's put more money in. And then I just kept doing that over and over again. But one thing that I'm gonna tell you guys, right, it is a blown account. It's not, it's not just blown. It's a lesson that you will never do again, right? And today I'm super happy and grateful that I learned my lesson because that made me a profitable trader, right? It also made me an individual that now I'm showing you guys how to really, what to look for, you know? So I'm gonna talk today about the lessons that I have learned. I'm gonna show you guys about trading view, how to set it up, how I set it up for my eye view. That could probably help you guys. And I'm gonna tell you, right? I'm an individual that, I'm a, sorry for my language, but I'm a stupid learner. Like I learn simple, stupid, like an old, old soul. And that's how I teach. So if you guys are gonna get some value of that, that's gonna be dope. So that's how I learned. And I'm gonna show you the different type of strategies and what actually educators will be perfect for you. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, I got my sister Nita here on the call. I'm grateful for her. And I'm gonna be honest, she asked me, she's like, yo, I really like Arlette. And I was like, yo, Arlette is lit. Like I met Arlette for the first time. And she's actually one of my favorite educators because she does a box training that that box training, if you master it, Listen, you can master FRX, you can master crypto, <laughs> you can master HFX, and it's a five minute box strategy. And I told Nita, I was like, yo, sis, you got to watch this video because this video is actually going to develop you and really understand to know. And like, yo, guys, look, I came back home. I just got back last night from Miami, right? And I didn't know I had this magic book with me, right? Talk about note takers. Like this book, I bought this when I went to, um, when I got invited to the private, um, May Day and with all the educators. I got invited to that because I got, um, I think I enrolled about 15 enrollments in a month and I got invited to it. So it was a private training that I got so much sauce and that's what I'm about to give you guys today. And this is the sauce that really actually started learning from trading. But first thing is first guys, I'm gonna say this in Spanish now so you guys can know. So bienvenido a la llamada. Um, gracias por estar aquí hoy. Yo le voy a hablar a ustedes de de, la, de lo que yo aprendí en el mercado. Cuando yo entré aquí primero en el mercado, yo hice muchos errores. So, no quiero que ustedes hagan los mismos errores que yo hice. So, yo les voy a explicar a ustedes lo que yo aprendí en el mercado. También les voy a explicar a ustedes cómo, qué mirar en el mercado y cómo entrar su, su primera trade. So, um, también la diferente tipo de estra, estrategias que hay allá en el mercado y también diferentes educadores que yo escucho que me ayudan a mí. So, Yo voy a hablar en inglés y en español a la misma vez. So, si ustedes ven que mi español está like a little messed up, ustedes me paran y me dicen que lo que, right? So, first thing is first, family. Um, oh, I love my sister, Joey. <laughs> I love you, sis. Let's get it. Thank you for that message. Um, first thing I want to talk to you guys about, right? I want to talk to you guys about the mindset of trading, okay? So, the mindset of trading, the first thing that I'm going to tell you guys, right? And I'm actually, let me see. I'm going to share this plan with you, right? We all have this plan. And I, some of you guys probably not have this trading plan, but I want you guys to take a picture 
of this plan right here, right? And, I, and this is something that I do with our investment group here. So I show everybody this plan right here, right? This plan right here really shaped me as a trader, right? And it was something that, oh, I'm not sharing my screen, sorry. So this plan that's right here, it was something that I really started to understand, right? And you guys can take a screenshot of this. So this plan right here is a trading plan that I started really to understand, right? Because in trading, what well, everything that you're doing, you got to have a goal. OK, you got to set a 90 day goal, a 30 day goal, a 60 day goal, whatever goal you want to set. Right now, you also got to understand how much money are you actually going to put in? OK, you guys know if you put in 250, you could duplicate that. You put in 300, 500, you could duplicate that. You start lower. It's going to be harder for you in your journey to be able to duplicate these things. OK, so you got to set yourself up for success. OK, we're going to set you up here for success. OK, so. The first step that you guys want to do is you want to set a 90 day goal. OK, once you set this 90 day goal right now, you have a daily interest rate that you guys are actually going to understand. OK, those that have a compound plan that follow a drop a three, three, three in the chat real quick. Right. Because you have to set a compound plan for yourself right now. The second thing that I would love for you guys to do is have rules while following your compound plan. OK, one. Don't take any more than five trades in any session that you guys are doing, okay? Have a goal for the day. Like, yo, this is my goal. This is what I'm actually going to follow. And this is what I'm actually going to do, okay? Now, right, number two, only risk 2% per trade of your account, okay? I'm going to be honest with you. How good does it feel to, sh to shoot 100% of your free throws, right? Because the free throw is one of the hardest things in basketball. I'm going to be honest with you. Right, you got the whole crowd screaming at you, game winning shot on you, right? And you're like, yo, and you're 100% free throw shooter. How good does that feel? It feels great, right? And I'm gonna be honest with you, trading, I treat trading just like sports. Everything I do, I treat it with sports because why? That's all I did growing up, sports, right? So I'm gonna tell you guys straight up, right? You treat this like your favorite hobby, right? You treat this compound like your favorite hobby or something that you love to do, my ladies here, right? You guys love to shop, go shopping, right? Don't you guys always look for the sales, right? I look, I'm a cheap ass, you know what I'm saying? I look for sales all the time, right? That's my compound plan. I'm only going to risk, hey, look, I'm only going to spend today this much on this shirt, this shoe, boom, boom, boom. I'm good, right? You guys have that mindset with trading. Guess how good this is going to feel? This is going to feel amazing to trade. Okay, I'm trading every single session because I know I'm going to follow 2%, right? Now, now saying to yourself this, take only three trades per session. You know how hard it is to take three trades? You just went three and no, and you're like, yo, damn, that was only 15 minutes of the call, right? And now it's like, okay, you got to humble yourself because think about it, right? When we over leverage in the market, what, what are we doing when we over leverage in the market? We're blocking the blessings that God has given us, right? So we got to understand and be humble. Okay, I went 3-0. Hey, I'm good. That's it. Boom. Oh, I just brought my account up from 3, 320 to 380 in one session. Hey, I'm good. I'm good for today. I'll trade later on tonight. Let me go do something else. Let me go talk to some prospects. Let me, let me go organize myself, you know, and stuff like that. Once you guys follow this, I know it's hard because it was hard for me when I first started. But guess what? What we do, when we do what's hard in life, life is easy, right? But when we do what's easy in life, what happens? Life is hard, right? So think about that. We got to do what's hard every single day and challenge ourselves, okay? Now, the third, that's the D, right? If you take two lessons, right? Close, close your account, for real. Because think about it. How many sessions, realistically, we have as an investment group here? Not even counting the goal life sessions, <laughs> right? We have like an investment group. I have Robin the Banks at 8 a.m. Moshe has his session at 10 a.m., right? Then 11 a.m., we have a go live. 12 a.m., we got Millie Mills. Millie Mills was on fire today. If you was with Millie Mills today, I know Jay, she was with Millie Mills. She was robbing the banks. She was going crazy, <laughs> right? If you was with Millie Mills today, Millie Mills got you the bag today. I didn't. I was actually closing the deal. But think about it, guys. All the sessions that you have all day. And then as an investment group, think about it. Monday and Wednesdays, who do we have? Xavier at 11 p.m. Now you have Austin Casanova at 10 a.m., 10 p.m. Tuesdays and Thursday, you know? So be able to be humble what you guys receiving, right? Now, 
Your goal on the session is to win three trades, gain 5% of your account every single time, right? Realistically, think about it, right? If you're only trading 2%, right? What are you going to do? Let's say you have an account of 500, right? I'm going to do the math for you. Right. You have an account of 500, right? And you're going to take 2% of that. You're taking $10 per trade. Now, what are you going to do trading in a market that's paying you 70% or plus? You're going to make 16, 17, maybe $18 on one trade. So be humble, right? Do, do the math, right? 17 times three trades. What's that? That's $51. And you did that in what? Seven minutes, eight minutes. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Numbers. I'm a numbers guy. I love numbers. So if I confused you, just let me know. But numbers is, is key. You know, you got to be able to play with your numbers. Look, that's 50 bucks I made in seven minutes. There's no one that you know that makes 50 bucks an hour. You know, so you got to be realistic and be actually humble and follow your compound plan, right? Your goal, right, is to hit those goals, right? Now, don't take any more than two rollovers per trade. I used to be that rollover fiend. I'm going to be honest with you, right? I used to fiend on my rollovers. Why? But do the math, right? If I'm trading a one minute, I love to trade one minute, right? If I add a rollover, what's a rollover? A rollover is an extra two minutes and an extra... 30 cents on top of my, of my um, trade, you know? So think about that Two, I already got three minutes on a trade. Now I'm, I'm putting another rollover. What's that? That's five minutes on a trade. Another rollover on top of that is seven minutes. So I used to be like, yo, my trade is never over. Next time I look, my account is blown, right? Don't do the same mistakes I did, right? I'm explaining this to you and I'm talking to you about this because these are the mistakes that I made and I don't want you to make them, okay? Now, number three, right? What trading sessions are you actually going every single day, right? I, this is one of the things that I did. One of actually the, the accomplishments that I had was at March Madness when I went to the event, I wanted to actually talk to Matthew Thayer. I look up to Matthew Thayer, right? Matthew Thayer is, is the GOAT, right? So he came up with the cash trap, cash up strategy, you feel me? So I wanted to ask him, I was like, I, I, I li- honestly, I thought all these educators trade all day. Guess how long these educators trade? 45 minutes, family. 45 minutes, they make their bag, they're good for the day. I was like, no way. So how do you guys study? How do you guys do this? Like, yo, we study, trade 45 minutes and we Gucci. I was like, oh, that's lit, right? And some of us stay here trading every single day. Like, yo, there's 24 hours in a day. Some of y'all treat this trading like it's a job, <laughs> for real, like eight hours plus trading. I'm like, yo, damn, I know you want to see results bad, but how many sessions are you actually studying every single day? Because it's cool for me to do this call for you, but guess how long it took me to actually sit behind the screen and sit myself down for an hour, two hours, three hours a day and actually study this thing, you know? So think about that. How many hours are you actually dedicating to your studies? Because we're paying an academy every single day, every single month. So how many, how much time are we dedicating to actually tr- like educate ourselves? Right. And I recommend you this, you can write this down. I didn't wrote this down, but I recommend four hours. Okay. To this, to the whole business, right. One hour to study, one hour to make money, one hour to plug in with a go live educator and one hour to actually plug into a, a training like this with the team about trading. That's what I recommend you. And then the rest of that, you got to think if you're a part-time or all-timer, Hall of Fame or some timer in this business, how much time are you actually dedicating to the business to grow it? Because think about it, trading could get you rich, right? Be honest with you, trading could get you rich, could get you paid, but what's gonna break that financial curse is gonna be this business, right? This business is really what the money is at. It's just like sit like my boy Michael Talk said this the other day, right? It's like going to a casino right now. And over there in that corner, we have HFX, right? They're giving you a couple plays. And then in this corner, they got the big money, which is FRX. What are you going to take, right? I'm going to go with FRX all day. I'm going to upgrade to my elite, you know, because I got I got three different buffets that I could eat from. So you got to understand this business is a business, right? And it's also a trading platform, okay? So now, what hours of the day are you trading your own, right? Because I'm going to be honest with you. That's okay. I used to rely on, on my mentors. I used to rely on my team to throw me trades, but I never used to sit here and be like, yo, am I actually going to practice right now? Now I practice more of my tradings of the analysis that I'm actually studying, right? Of the pre-recorded sessions that I'm watching on Go Live. 
I'm actually studying myself more than I'm actually trading with with um with uh people on my team you know now my team wants to trade with me all day like I'm like yo you know I gotta build a business but this is my only 45 minutes that I actually trade you know but how, you ask yourself that question how much time are you actually working on yourself to do this like right now I'm gonna be honest with you I don't really do trading calls but some one of my leaders on my team told me straight up right she saw one of my blind spots she was like yo and I, I like to do what's uncomfortable. I'm comfortable doing the uncomfortable. And I told her, I was like, yo, I got you, sis. I'm going to take care. All right, bet. Boom. And here I'm running this call for you guys, right? And I'm going to put you guys on game with what I see in the market so you guys can understand, okay? Um, number five, hop on daily trainings. Trading daily, like for real. Like repetition is key, guys. Once you master this key of repetition and also write things down, because there's a lot of information in writing, right? A lot of you guys probably seeing this for the first time and not like, yo, this is lit, right? Probably people in my investment group, Brown, seeing this and I'm explaining it, you guys are probably like, yo, I didn't know that. <laughs> or yo, I didn't know that was there. But sometimes you just gotta see the information that's in writing. That's why I really wrote this down because a lot of people skip the writing because they don't like to read, right? And one thing guys that I'm gonna tell you, very important, relax. You're not gonna become a master trader overnight, okay? relax timing 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 okay now you guys understood that everybody understood that drop a one on one in the chat if you guys understood let's get it so i like to always start with that because the mindset is really key guys the mindset is really key the mindset is really key when it comes to trading you got to make sure that your mindset is right but i want to share this with you and i'm actually going to take out the whiteboard and i'm going to write this down for you guys right because this right here this was something that blew my mind when I actually went to the event, okay? <clears throat> and it's called this. It's called SRT, okay? What does SRT stand for? Okay, SRT stands for support, resistance. Oh, sorry about that. It stands for support, resistance. Trend lines. Okay, so <clears throat> one of the things and one of the keys that I'm gonna give you guys, go to Brandon Boyd on Go Live, right? Go to his favorite session and look for support, a video that's called for support, look for a video that's called for resistance and look for a video that has the trend lines, okay? You guys are gonna, this is, you guys are gonna thank me for life, right? Because this is all I did, right? I did a S R T. Support, resistance, and trend line. You guys know this in trading, you're Gucci for life. Let me tell you, right? Because what happens in the market, right? The market has different trend lines, right? What happens in the market? Two things happen in the market. It has support and it has what? Resistance, okay? So once you master, right? And I'm gonna break this down for you. Once you master the resistance of the market, you figure out the activity, right? Once you figure out the support of the market, figure out the, the floor. You figure out the floor of where the market is going, okay? Now, the resistance of the market, you figure out the activity of everything that's going on in the market, right? Boom. Now, once you figure out the support and once you figure out the floor of the market, you actually decide now, like, okay, this is where it actually is going to hit and this is where it actually is going to go. Now, right after you figure that out, right, you figure out which direction the market is going. Okay. You figure out if it's going to be a downtrend, if it's going to be an uptrend, and it's going to be consolidated. Okay then you figure out the strength of the market, right? We all have access to the strength meter, okay? Go on the strength meter when you guys are trading. Figure out like, hey, look, what is, what is this? Oh, what's stronger? What's not strong, right? So Boom. Oh. What's consolidation? What's this? What's that? Boom. Once you guys figure that out, it's a wrap in the market, right? So 
real quick. I want to share this with you. Okay. <clears throat> now, using Trading View, using Trading View, guys, right? I want to break this down for you, right? One of my favorite pairs that I love is Euro USD. Okay. Why do I love Euro USD, right? Your USD, something I found out about your USD is that your USD moves in one direction. And when your USD moves in one direction, it goes like that for days, right? If your USD is going up, it's going up, fam. If your USD is going down, it's going down. If it's consolidating, listen, it's not a good day to trade today on your USD, okay? So now when I'm, when I'm looking at these things, right, and I'm going to hook you guys up, right? A lot of you guys trading view doesn't really look like this, Okay. So I'm gonna hook you guys up real quick. So I want you guys to click on the days, right? Let me see, click on the days, right? Or the little arrow right next to the day, right? And I want you guys to be doing this the same way that I'm doing it, okay? Why am I having you do this the same way that I do it? Because it's the only way that you guys will actually learn it, okay? Because now when you guys are actually doing it, you guys are actually gonna see what I'm seeing, okay? So you're gonna click on the little arrow. I want you to click on a star on the four hours, okay? Click on the star, right? Boom. Click on the hour star, boom. Click on the 30 minute star, boom. 15 minute, five minutes, three minutes, and one minute, okay? That's where I started, right? Then I want you guys, right? Real quick. I want you guys real quick, right, to, give me a second, I'm going to write it down right here for you, right, I want you guys real quick, right, I want you to pick five pairs, okay, I have five of my favorite pairs, right, which is Euro, USD, USD, JPY, right, I got GBP, USD, GBP, GBP, JPY, and then I'm looking right now, I, I usually have Bitcoin, but I'm looking at Ethereum right now, right? So I don't know if you guys noticed this, right? But I want you to pick five pairs, five of your favorite pairs. It doesn't have to be the same pair as me, right? That's has to be five pairs that you like right? Because now when you're looking at these five pairs, right? You're going to start understanding, right? Like, oh, wow, I'm studying these five pairs. It's like having your five favorite pair of shoes, right? And you're going to wear these shoes, right? Probably one of those shoes, you're going to wear more than all five of them. One of them, you're going to wear them probably never just to go out, right? And that's going to be the crypto one, right? Just to go out, right? On the weekend, Boom, you guys know crypto is always lit, right? But once you guys start studying, once you guys start studying the crypto, right? What's going to start happening? You get to support and resistant in the market all the time, right? So, sis. And you're going to be able to see what the market is actually doing. But remember your basics, right? Remember, support. What, what is your support? What did I write down on, on, the, on the whiteboard, right? What is your support? Support of the market, you figure out the floor of the market, right? What is the resistance? The resistance, you figure out the activity of the market, okay? So now you figure out both of those things and what happens, family, right? Now you have everything right here, right in front of you. Boom. You're looking at your Ethereum. You're looking at, you're looking at your Bitcoins, right? And how good does that feel that you'd be able to just look at a graph and know what exactly to do? Right, but I want you to pick five pairs, right? Three currencies, four currencies of your of whatever pair you want, and pick one crypto, right? If now you pick one crypto, what is that gonna do? You're gonna be able to understand and be able to look at graphs and mark up graphs whenever you want, right? Now, one of the things also that I learned, okay, was that something that really helps me to the fullest, right? is my stochastic and my RSI, right? And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, right? You click right here on the, on the F and look, I got the Bollinger Bands, I have everything here, right? These indicators is legit the Sasson 
of the meat that you guys cook every single day, right? My Spanish people, that adobo, that this is the indicators right here. Cash trap, that's all the indicators right there, right? So RSI, right? You guys look it up like this, right? You guys put S-T-O-C-H RSI. Boom. Put a star next to that, right? And this is something that like, I swear to God, I never used to pay attention to this, but this is something that Natalia taught me, right? I'm gonna put you guys on game, okay? You guys click on here real quick. You guys click on the little the little tool right here, right? And I want you guys to be doing this so you guys can understand that. If you have any questions, you guys can stop me real quick and ask me questions, okay? So right here, when you guys are looking at this, right? I always like to put my screen black because black is where it's at, <laughs> I'm playing. But I like black because I can actually see the movement of the market, okay? And right here, right, the upper band, okay? This upper band right here, I like to put it red because what happens in the market, right? When the market is at its highest, what happens? What are we gonna do? Are we gonna buy or we're gonna sell? Let me see in the chat. If we're gonna buy or we're gonna sell? We're gonna sell, right? So I like to put that red. So I already know anything that's above this, like as you guys see right here, right? Anything that's above here, it's a sell all day, right? It's gonna be a sell all day, no matter what graph I'm looking at, what candles I'm looking at, the five minute, the three minute, one minute. If it's above this, I'm already know that I'm gonna look for sells, but I also gotta understand which direction the market is going. If it's consolidating, if it's going on an uptrend, if it's going on a downtrend, okay? So that's what we gotta understand. Right now, <clears throat> this part right here, my lower band, I'm actually going to put a green because what does green mean? Green means go, right? And green means buy. So what do I do when it's under this area? I already know I'm actually going to be looking for some buys, okay? So when I'm looking for some buys here in this area, right? Boom, buys, 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 okay? <clears throat> now, when I'm looking for some buys here in this area, I'm actually also letting the broker guide me, okay? Because TradingView could just guide you so much, okay? Be honest with you, right? TradingView could just guide you just a little bit. But if you know how to trade through TradingView, listen, cash trap, that's like a cupcake for you. For real, for real. Any questions so far you guys have? Any questions? Any questions? Okay, cool. So I'm gonna open up my broker. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. Right here. One question. No, <laughs> I bet. So when I'm looking at this, right? So I'm gonna look up my favorite pair, which is Euro USD. Log in real quick. <clears throat> Let me refresh this. Perfect. <clears throat> so I'm looking at my favorite pair. I'm going to type in anywhere here in the chat or on the screen. Euro. Or... Boom, right? So, so now, guys, right? First thing I do, I go to my broker. If it loads, awesome. So, I'm here in my broker right now. I'm at your USD, right? I'm looking at it. The same way that I look, I always go back, right? It's like you guys are mopping the floor right now at your house. The way that my mom taught me how to mop the floor, she told me start from the back and work your way forward, right? So same thing here in the market, right? I'll go and I go like this. Look, I go back. I go back into the market. And I see an area where the market was consolidated because what happens when the market consolidates, right? At the end of that candle, what's going to happen? The market is going to find a new what? Support or a new resistance, right? It's going to go to the opposite direction, okay? 
So what am I doing here? Look, I found something, but look, that's only in the one minute. I always start at the four hour, right? This is where I determine what the market is doing. And my bad guys, my internet is just slow. So it's gonna, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna break it down so you guys can see it, so you guys can understand it. But you guys, if you're doing it on your side, you guys could probably see, okay? So I always start at the four hour and then I figure out, right? Uptrend, downtrend, consolidated, boom. Then after that, I hit my one hour, right? When I hit my one hour in the market, I exactly see what direction and where is my lowest point and where's my highest point in the market. This is like super zoomed in, damn. Yeah, so I'll find like where is the highest point in the market? Where's the lowest point? And what do you think I'm doing, right? My support is gonna be at the lowest point my resistance is going to be at its highest, right? Then I go to my 30 minute, right? And then I start really zooming in, right? Where the areas I, I'm looking at, okay? Then I just start marking up. Boom, I support my resistance, right? My support, my resistance. And I, I mark up my support, my resistance if it touched three, two to three times, okay? That's when I'm marking up. If it touched that area two to three times, oh, shoot, that's a support, boom. I'll mark up, right? Now I go into my five minute, right? When I go into my five minute candle, right? I want you guys to understand this, right? This is the mistake I used to make all the time. I used to be in a 15 minute throwing one minute trades, right? That was me. That's the way like I was just going because I wasn't actually sitting here and actually studying, okay? So every candle here, right? If you guys are looking at the five minute, every candle is a five minute candle, okay? Every candle is a five minute candle. So understand that, okay? If I'm a change to a three minute, it's gonna be every candle is gonna be three minutes. So what do you think I'm doing here in this broker? I'm changing my times, okay? If I'm looking at a one minute, right? I'm actually gonna be trading in a one minute. Exactly what I'm doing in my trading view or I'm doing in my cash trap or whatever the case may be what I'm doing, I'm actually doing the same thing in my broker, okay? So I don't want you guys to make that mistake, all right? So if you're trading right here, you're looking at this candle, right? It's a one minute right now, right? And I want you guys to understand this, right? I'm gonna write this down for you, okay? So when you guys are trading one minute plus rollover, right? What does that equal? Drop it in the chat if you guys know. I said this in the beginning of the call. One minute plus a rollover, how much time does that equal? Right? Let me see if you guys are paying attention, right? That's gonna equal three minutes. Let's go, let's go, let's go three, right? Because I'm still counting the one minute, okay? So that's gonna be three minutes, right? That's gonna be three minutes, guys. One minute plus a rollover gives me two minutes. What does that do? Three minutes, boom, right? And I want you guys to understand that, right? Because this is the mistakes I used to make, right? And people used to laugh at me. You probably laughed at me on this call that I said that I used to really legit trade on 15 minutes. I used to look at a 15 minute candle like, yo, bro, take this trade. This trade's gonna hit. Boom. Lesson, 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 lesson. Okay. So look at it like this, guys, right? And that's okay. Like if that's you, you you're here today, you're making that mistake, it's okay, right? Now, Another thing that I was doing wrong, right, was that I'll be on a three minute, okay, and I'll be like, yeah, bro, I'm going to take a rollover, right, <clears throat> a three minute plus a rollover, right, what does that do, a three minute plus a rollover, what does that equal, that equals five minutes, right, now, what's a three minute plus another rollover, because we have two rollovers per trade. What does that equal? That equals five minutes, guys, right? Because two plus three is what? It's five, okay? So remember, every time you guys roll over, right? And also when you're taking five-minute trades, you got to be really, really careful with the rollovers because it gives you a seven-minute on your trade. Um, it's not recommended to roll over, but I usually roll over just to be safe. Sometimes I call a rollover and the trade spikes. Whoop. 
and it hits. But I just call a rollover just to be safe. Um, I don't really fiend on rollover like that. I used to a lot. I used to really be a fiend of rollovering a lot, a lot, guys. Right. And I don't want you guys to do the same mistakes I did. I used to roll over a lot. Right. So now when you're trading on a five minute plus, right, plus a rollover, you guys are going to equal what? Seven minutes on the trade, okay? So you guys got to be really careful when you guys are rolling over, okay? And every rollover, okay, I don't know if you guys know this, but every rollover equals what? I don't have the cents, but it equals 30 cents of your account every single time. 30 cents, 30 cents, 30 cents. But look, you double you double over the rollover, that's, that's almost double your account, guys of what you just put in, right? So be really, really careful with your rollovers, okay? Now, another thing that I do, right? That was that just actually me throwing out a trade. So I wanted uh, you guys to see that. If you guys understood that, drop a 555 five, five in the chat real quick. If you guys understood that. You guys understood it, drop a 555 five, five in the chat, please. If you understood it. If you didn't understand, let me know. I'll explain it a little bit more so you guys can understand it, right? That's just like the basics, right? So. Another thing, guys, right, when I'm trading, okay? Another thing that I look for when I trade, let's say right now you're a USD, right? Like I told you, I let my broker guide me, okay? Yes, I look at TradingView. Yes, I look at Cash Trap. I love Cash Trap, right? But like I told you, right, all these indicators, they're just the seasoning on top of that, that sweetness, little food that you guys want, right? That's just the, the icing on the cake, right? So you guys got to be really, really careful when you guys are like falling in love with like your broker or trading. Don't build that trading ego. That's going to bring that ego and it's actually going to like block a lot of blessings for you, okay? So I let my broker guide me, right? I'm using my confirmations here, okay, bet. It's over the line, okay? I'm going to throw some sales, right? But real quick, I want to show you guys this, right? So when I'm actually trading, okay? And I'm, I'm actually going to show you how I trade, okay? So you guys can understand. I'm a different type of trader, and I'm going to give you guys some strategies. You guys probably saw the way I was um, writing it down in the beginning. I just didn't want to forget. So <clears throat> I'm almost done. So right here, guys, I usually start when I trade. I start at the five-minute candle because I know in my rules, in my head, I programmed my head already that I already have two rollovers in a one minute, okay? So if you guys see my broker, right? I usually trade one minute trades, robbing the banks. I robbed the banks in one minute. I got that from one of my leaders here. She loves the one minute. Like she's a one minute sniper. Like she's a beast. <laughs> and she, she got me into the one minute, man. I used to be a two minute, a two minute, you know, sniper, but she got me into the one minute. And like, I love it because I actually got to meet um, Millie, Millie Mills in person. And Millie Mills has a new strategy coming out, guys. It's called the Millie Heights. It's a one minute sniper um one minute sniper um trading strategy that's gonna be a killer so um i'm actually i have we have access to it whoever went to uh to the boot camp and it's pretty dope like the way we trade with it you use it on liberty and i'm gonna show you guys the scanners and stuff like that so um real quick guys right so at the one minute i look at the graph at the five minute i see what the market is doing so if you guys are looking right here right and I hope you guys are getting value of this. I hope you could, this is not information you guys already heard, but it's always good to listen to information once or twice. And I actually wanted to break this down so you guys could get the information, okay? And thank you for staying and thank you for listening to me out. If you hear this before, if you heard this already, it's okay if you hear it again, but thank you. I appreciate your time for real. And so right here, guys, right? I look, so right now we're looking at this market. What is this market actually doing, right? It's consolidating, right? It's actually looking, okay? It's actually looking for a movement, but look at the time, right? If you're looking at the time, if you guys have a computer, right? One thing that I recommend you is to have the hour, the minutes, and the seconds of the next of the next minute that's gonna come out. Okay. Why is that, right? Why is that? That's weird, right? <laughs> but I do that because I exactly want to know exactly when the next candle is gonna come out. And time and numbers always add up with everything, okay? So I always make sure that I'm looking at everything like, okay, bet, this makes sense. Okay, boom, right? I'm a different type of trader. I told you, I'm like, I'm old school. So like, I this is the way I learned, right? So I got to have everything aligned with each other, right? 
And this is amazing. So right here, right? So I'm already looking, okay, there's 58 seconds, right? Boom, that new candle is going to come out exactly bow in the five minutes. A new candle came out. I know in the one minute candle, a new candle is going to come out every single minute, right? So I always look at the five minute to actually see the movement of it's doing. But right here, what is this showing me, right? It's over my RSI line. So what is it saying? It's over my highs over high, right? So right here is over my oversold, overbought, right? It's over. Look, look at that. So I'm like, okay, bet. So what am I actually going to look for, right? In the five minute, I already know if I roll over twice, I'm actually going to be in a sell position, okay, in the five minute. Okay, but also I have three minutes and 19 seconds until the next candle come out. So I can actually see the movement of the market, right? Now, I come on here, okay? I'm looking at the three minute. The three minute is going down, okay? So the three minute is going down. So I already know if I, whatever trade I called right now for one minute, let's say I buy a buy, I'm gonna have to roll over because, or I might just have to let that trade go because that trade is on a downtrend right now. And it's consolidating, okay? So now what do I do, right? Now, when I make my analysis, right? And I exactly gonna call this trade. Look at this, look at this. At a one minute, what is exactly doing? Is massively, is massively dropping down guys, right? So when it's massively dropping down, what is it doing, right? It's looking for his support, right? Cause it's over the oversold, okay? It's over the oversold and look how the low is that it went. Right. You guys could draw this little line, right? Look, boom, it touched right there. It touched a little high, right? Look the lowest that it went, right? And what do you think it's gonna do right here? It's gonna go the lowest that it went right here. You can see what I'm saying? It's things that you guys develop. The more that you guys sit here and mark up your charts, support resistance, boom, boom, boom. The more that you guys start seeing the patterns of the market. Okay. So right here, if I'm in a one minute, I'm actually not gonna call a trade right now because what is it doing? It's spiking, it's consolidating, it's not moving the way I want it to move. Then if I want more information, what am I going to? I'm going to my strength meters, okay? I'm going to my strength meters and I'm understanding like, okay, bet, I got Euro USD right now. Euro is stronger than my USD, right? So what am I doing? What am I doing here? Okay, let me just wait, right? Let me just be patient. Look, and it's dropping all the way down to the floor, okay? So dropping, dropping, dropping right? I bet you any money, right? In the next five to 10 minutes, when the new candle, new hour comes out, right? This thing is going to start showing up all the way to the sky, right? But why? Because right now it's looking for his new support, right? If you guys look, right, it's, gonna, it's been consolidating for the last, what? Probably hour right here. It's been consolidating, 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 right? But I dedicated so much time to my study that I started understanding and really seeing the eye, okay? Really seeing the eye of trading, right? Some of you guys probably understood this. Some of you guys probably didn't understand this. Probably some of you guys are like, yo, this all makes sense. I'm gonna go be a master trader now, right? Go ahead, family. Take the value that I gave you and apply it, right? Remember, SRT, right? Which is the support resistant trend line. You guys master that? Yo, no one in the world is going to tell you nothing. I'm telling you right now, right? And one thing I recommend for you guys, you guys are in Moshe's session. You guys are in my session, robbing the banks in the morning. You guys are in any session, right? Yo, have your trading view up. Start marking up charts. Start seeing what it's actually talking about because watch how fast you start learning how to trade, okay? Watch how fast you start learning how to trade, right? And I want to share another thing with you guys, okay? Sorry about that. Okay. The other thing that I want to share with you guys, right? I want to share some exotic pairs with you. Okay. There's a lot of exotic pairs out there. Okay. <clears throat> that I want to share with you. Let me find them, Right. So when I'm talking about exotic pairs, right? I'm going to drop them here in the chat. If you guys get some value, drop some 777 in the chat real quick. If, you, if this makes sense now, if you understand it, Drop a seven seven in the chat and be real with me. Be real for real. For real. If you don't understand it, unmute yourself. Tell me like, yo, I don't get this. <laughs> you feel me? Bad, bad, bad. Because I, I I like to ask questions. I, I'm I'm a question guy. You feel me? So if this don't make sense. Just let me know, right? So real quick, guys, I want to give you some exotic pairs, right? Because 
there is a lot of a lot of cool things with trading, right? And like when you guys start being obsessed with this, I started being obsessed with trading. I'm gonna be honest with you. I started really looking at this like, yo, trading is the next generation, <laughs> like next level stuff, right? So, so one thing that you guys gotta ask yourself too, right? Once you guys start trading, develop a schedule for trading, okay? What times are you guys, what time are you guys trading, right? What time are you guys actually taking trades? You feel me? Once you guys start asking yourself that, you guys start actually taking trades, like at this time, this time, right? Because every, nobody has the best time to trade. I get it. Some of us have family. Some of us have kids. Some of us have boyfriends, girlfriends. Some of us have this. Some of us have that. Schedule yourself. What's a good time for you to trade, right? Sometimes, sometimes. Right? Sometimes you got to understand, like, the best trade might not be for you right now, right? So you probably got to understand, like, yo, this trade is not for me right now, man, right? Now, once you guys pick, pick, once you guys pick your pairs, you will start understanding trading better. I'll be honest with you, right? Because you know exactly, your mind knows exactly where to go, where not to go. Okay, this makes sense. This not doesn't make sense. Oh, I can't understand this pair, right? And stuff like that. Once you guys start understanding these things, it's going to become easier for you. It's going to become second nature for you, okay? So some exotic pairs that I want to give you guys, right? So exotic pairs, I mean like that move like next level, right? And these are pairs that like I'd be actually looking at and analyzing. So your USD is one of them, right? Your USD, I'm gonna tell you guys something about your USD. It's actually our let's favorite pair. Um, it's one of my favorite pairs. When she said that, bro, when I met her in person, I was like, oh shoot, we got something in common, right? She loves your USD because why? Your USD is a pair that like, if you sit, if you're a trader that wants to sit here all day and rob the banks, your USD, you'll make bank with your USD. If you really master your support and resistance and you actually start understanding where to trade and where exactly not to trade it right and it's a pair that just moves in one direction and the key point right 7 a.m after the london session is actually over this pair right here what does it do right if it's if it's going on a downtrend it reverses back to where it started okay so that that's the latest thing about your usd so if you see a lot of educators on your usd it's because they the way that it moves right now another pair is euro cat okay i know i went over guys my apologies right um another pair is gbp usd then euro jpy then aud usd ncd usd GBP CAD moves really, really nice. USD CHF, USD CAD, GBP JPY, and AUD JPY. Guys, look, study these pairs right here. You guys will have a gold mine with trading, no cap. And don't please don't let an ego take over you. Please, please don't do that. <laughs> Please don't do that. Don't let your ego take over you guys for real, for real. But one thing, guys, I'm going to show you the educators. I'm going to give you guys this sauce right here. So these are different type of strategies, right, that I like, that I first, when I first started trading, I was like, yo, you know what? What type of trader I'm going to be? Right? I'm going to be that one-minute sniper. I'm going to be that long-term trader, right, 15 minutes. <laughs> well, what I'm going to do, right? So real quick. I love Ness, Ness Vasquez because he uses the simple scalper, he uses the web signer and his Liberty, okay? Like if you really go out there and really study Liberty, I'm gonna tell you guys straight up, Liberty is a gold mine. Liberty was the first cash trap before cash trap was created, right? That's how HFX was made, Liberty, okay? Arlette, go study that box strategy. Favorite pair is your USD, okay? Go study that, right? Once you learn that box strategy, right? Once it's like a trap, you know, like a mouse trap. 
like you put the box, you got the mouth, the, the mouse trap is a wrap, right? Anything that hits on that trade, you're gonna sell or either buy, sell or buy for one minute, right? One minute trading, boom, catch him, right? Now, AWOL, he's actually a new crypto educator, right? He's gonna change the game. He loves long-term trading, 15 minutes plus. He's a beast with it. He cannot stand here, right? And this could probably be you here on this call, probably watching this video. You probably can't stand here and be like, yo, bro, I can't take a one minute trade. I'm losing every single trade. Hey, look, long time trading might be for you. FRX might be for you. You never know. Just go take the chance of your day and go study. Go actually go look at some graphs and go find an educator that's for you, right? Daniel Lopez, right? He, he's a reverse trader. He looks at the market opposite, right? Like he really sits here and draws the market out opposite what is looking. And then that's how he reads the market, right? Daniel Lopez, you guys can follow him. He's an FRX educator. Now, Millie Mills, the one minute heist, right? KD robbing the banks, okay? So these educators right here, these are some strategies that may be for you, okay? You probably are a different trader than KD. You probably are a different trader than everything that I'm doing, right? So I hope you guys got value of this. I got to hop on another call. I got a private one-on-one, -on -one, but I love you guys. I hope you got value of this. If you have any questions, you can feel free to unmute yourself real quick. If you have any questions, any doubts, just feel free to unmute yourself. No, let's get it. So I love you guys. I appreciate you. I will be posting this video on YouTube. I hope this was helpful. You guys already know. Love ya.